Hey everybody, Caleb here, and today is another upload in the 60 Day Upload Challenge, making 60 videos over 60 days and uploading them on YouTube. Thank you guys for joining along with me in it. And today we are talking about how Jesus is in the Avengers and Star Wars, and it's more than just a cameo. Bad joke, Caleb. It, in a lot of ways. Now, when we talk about storytelling, it's something I really care about. I'm very passionate about. Um, I love movies. I love books. I love cinema. I just love storytelling in general. Now, when we look at storytelling, there's a typical kind of monomyth known as the hero's journey. And just reading through it and what it is called and described as, basically, you have a hero who goes off who sees an amount of change, there's a foreseeable task that must be done, and they then return home after victory, seeing and knowing that there is change and transformation in who they are. That is what Star Wars basically is. Like, you look at Star Wars, you look over characters, you see their lives, um, you're seeing that kind of monument, that hero's journey take place, and honestly, it's probably why those movies are starting to fall a little bit flat and be a little bit stale. It's because you can only tell the hero's journey so much in so many ways and so many facets. Now, I think a big thing is it was already told well before. And I, we'll get to that in a minute. Actually, then we look at the Avengers. Now, okay. The Avengers also is a monomyth, basically. It's also the hero's journey. And that's where we look at Iron Man. That's why everybody's talking about how do we replace Iron Man. Spoiler alert, in Endgame, he dies. Sorry if you didn't know that. But Tony Stark goes and he ends up having that triumphal moment where he snaps and he goes, I am Iron Man. And we all just start loving it and we can't believe it happened. Actually, for some of us, we didn't love it. We started crying. I know there's people in the theater, they were just like weeping because they're so sad that he died, that this man went through this arc of redemption and victory and ended up giving up his life for the sake of others. Okay. So that's where we see the savior figure in, in cinema, in storytelling at work. This isn't a new thing. It's just the reality. We desire a savior figure. There has to be a redeeming quality about any character being used. That's why there's sometimes movies that people make that might seem more edgy and they might seem more um, just all around more inventive and creative but they don't have any redeeming qualities about their characters. So it's actually hard to watch. We don't like it as much. That is where we're gonna land at right here. Now, it's the reality that Tony Stark, when he snaps his fingers, when he goes in and he sacrifices his life, the reason that hit us so hard is because it's a story we all desire. It's our desire, honestly, I believe truthfully for Jesus that we all realize that we have an amount of brokenness, that we all have an amount of hurt where we realize we need that savior. And so when we see Tony Stark do that, it's like, that's what I wanted. That's what I need. Or we think, man, why would he do that? We don't understand. We can't wrap our mind around it, but it was already demonstrated to us through the story of Jesus. You read through the gospels, it is a man, it is it is God in flesh coming to earth, living the perfect life and giving it up for us. And so we look and we see this and it actually makes me just look at movies and cinema so much different because really it's just realizing that every single story about a savior figure, about redemption is a knockoff of the one we all truthfully need and that's Jesus. That's realizing that he already has paid that price. He already has sacrificed in a way that would have been much more somber and striking than even seeing that moment where Iron Man snaps his fingers. It would be the moment of seeing him dying upon a cross. It would be something so just our soul longing for. Not because we, I'm not saying it gruesomely as we wanted to see Jesus dead, but it's this desire to see that someone cared so much that they would sacrifice their lives for us. And that is why good storytelling is around that. It's because it is the story we long for. It is the story that we desire, the story that every one of us needs. And so that's what I have to say for that today. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot more videos on cinema, talking about different stuff like that. This is one of those other ones. We already did a video on Die Hard. Go watch that, check it out. It's pretty good. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Maybe you've seen Star Wars. Uh, leave a like if you thought the end of the latest Star Wars movie could have been a little bit different because I am in, in that boat. Comment down below any of your thoughts and subscribe to the channel. It means so much to me. It helps me out and encourages me in the midst of all of this and making all these videos. Just seeing some people say, hey, I'm along for the ride. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow.